I'm Dan the Produce Man. Folks, it's Brussels sprout time. And Brussels sprouts used to be a big turnoff, especially for kids. But over the past several years, they've gained enormous popularity. So they're back in action. Now, Brussels sprouts were first grown in Belgium many centuries ago and eventually made their way through Europe and then finally landed in Louisiana with the French settlers. They're a member of the Cruciferae family. The Cruciferae is a Latin word that means crucifix because the flowers resemble a cross. In this family is mustard, being the matriarch, also broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and horseradish. And that's just to name a few. Brussels sprouts were described many centuries ago as the cabbage bearing a thousand heads. Well, there you go. Sounds like a good horror movie, huh? The thousand headed cabbage. <laughs> I'd pay money to see that movie. Hey, today Brussels sprouts are grown in California along the coast of Monterey and Santa Cruz County where the weather's cool and foggy. Brussels sprouts will keep in your refrigerator up to three to five days, even a week, if you treat them right. Now let's talk about cooking them. All right, if you're steaming them, you're gonna wanna break them from the stem. Just butt the end a little bit so you get a nice even surface. Cut a small X. So just a little bit away in there. Now what that does is that will get the Brussels sprout cooking evenly when you're steaming them. And you wanna put them in your steamer and cover the lid, cover them with the lid and let them steam for one to two minutes. But while you're doing this, turn the overhead fan on so the fan is on while the water's boiling because you're gonna remove the lid for about 15 seconds and this is gonna release the sulfurous compounds that build up and it'll stink up your kitchen. That's the stink that you get, the sulfurous compounds in the Brussels sprouts. The process is called the two minute stink release. Then, hey, replace the lid and cook them for another six to 10 minutes and man, you, you got Brussels sprouts for steamed. You can uh, chop them in half and saute them. You can roast them in the oven, all kinds of things. Uh, nutrition in Brussels sprouts. It's packed with nutrition. Lots of vitamin C, B6, and a lot of vitamin E. Hey, a whole lot more. Brussels sprouts, folks, they're back in action. They are popular again. And I'm Dan the Produce Man telling you it's always best when you get them fresh. <laughs>